Oh no, Jamila's father, dead. Looks as though he was hit by a cannonball. He's lost a leg, blood everywhere. I hope Jamila will be able to cope with the sight of this. He's not going to need his saber anymore. gunpowder horn. Full by the looks of it, the thick end is closed up tight. Eight long oars. They keep you moving when the weather is calm. But not when there are only two of you. Anyway, there's nowhere to hook the oars on because the railing is destroyed. God, what carnage! Ghastly! Gruesome. He's had his head shot off. I think I'm going to be sick. A bloody battlefield. No one here survived. I can consider myself lucky that I was locked away in the bilge. The railing has been ripped right out of its fixings. At least the top side is still intact, and quite sturdy too by the looks of it. Eight long oars. They keep... but not when there are only two of them. Dry bread. Better than nothing. A cut. The bucket is full. I hope I'm not too late with the water. The barrel fits perfectly in the gap. The 
the horn fits on the barrel of the arquebus like a funnel. Now I'll send water through the gap. Good! <coughs> Jamila? Jamila! Theodore? Oh! Hey, are you trying to kill me? Dear Lord, I was beginning to worry. I'm happy that I'm still alive. So stop fidgeting around with that saber. You better give it to me. This belongs to my father. Where is he? Jamila, it'd be better if you didn't go there. Stop talking nonsense. Where is he? Oh no. The dirty swines. They'll be sorry. I had hoped he was only injured. Only injured. Who was that? Who did all this? Soldiers of the Inquisition? Yes. They fired from six cannon ports at once without warning. We had no chance. Jamila, is there anything I can do? <sighs> yes. See to it that we get out of here. Jamila? Yes? Did you see the men who attacked you? Yes. Especially the one who shot at my father. I'll never forget his face. I wish Carlos hadn't locked me in his cabin. Then I could have helped him. Instead, all I could do was watch on helplessly. Don't fret over that. Your father probably saved your life doing that. So? What should I do now? Spend the rest of my life annoyed at how damn stubborn my father was? He was your father. That's how he behaved. He would have been a worse father if he hadn't protected his daughter. And he did it well. You survived. What do you know about fathers, huh? True. I haven't even got one. But I've got a brother. And I suspect he's been abducted by the same people who did all this. Did you see which direction they were sailing? No. But even if I did, we couldn't follow them. The first priority is to make sure we reach land at all. Hmm. Can you sail this ship? As long as it stays afloat. We've got a leak down in the cargo bay. Then repair it and try and come up with a way to get the ship moving. The sails are bust. The mast, too. And then we'll make it to North Africa. Perhaps. But only if you can find out where we are. I have to take care of the dead bodies now. How am I supposed to repair the mast and the sail? That's impossible. You've already built a thing that can fly. So think of something. How am I supposed to find out where we are? Have a look in my father's cabin. There are maps and all the other things you need to do that kind of thing. Here, take his key. Let's see if I can find the locket fits. Is the ship carrying tar by any chance? Unfortunately not, but some similarly sticky stuff. Have a look in the barrel with the white twine on the lid. What was it with that leak again? Open bad, closed good. Are you still not finished? You can always stick your head in it. How am I supposed to repair the mast and the sail? You've already built a thing that... Then I'll continue to take care of the ship. Eight long oars. They keep you moving when the weather is calm. But not when there are only two of you. Anyway, there's nowhere to hook the oars on because the railing is destroyed. The anchor. The only thing on this ship that is still in one piece. It seems to be tied up tight.
The lock seems to have been broken by the heat of the fire. The chest won't open. What's this strange board? It looks like something is glistening through it. A hiding place for a treasure chest. That was easy. Navigational devices, maps, telescope, razor. So these are Carlos's treasures. The captain was more of a practical thinking robber. A bag full of nails. This is where the incendiaries flew in. They've caused serious damage. There's gunpowder in there. Secured booty. Jamila tried as best she could to contain the fire with carpets and blankets, which is why such a build up of smoke was created. So this is where Carlos planned his forays. Wait a minute, the chest has a double floor. What did Carlos hide in there? A whole load of IOU notes. So many that he could have papered the walls of the cabin with them. Now I'll christen the razor. Jamila? Yes? Is the ship carrying tar by any chance? Unfortunately not, but some similarly sticky stuff. Have a look in the barrel with the white twine on the lid. Then I'll continue to take care of the ship. Yes! I can make out a few distinct orientation points. Perhaps I should compare them with the map. I first have to find the landmarks using the telescope.
Yes, that point is good. I've noted the point and its direction. Yes, that point is good. I've noted the point and its direction. Yes, that point is good. I've noted the point and its direction. Yes, that point is good. I've noted the point and its direction. Well, one landmark seems to match, but that's not enough to fix a position. Now we have two landmarks that match up, but I could still be somewhere else on the map. Ah, the position is already pretty good, but I'd like to have another landmark just to make sure. Got it. That has to be my position. I've got it. We're near Malta. Jamila? Yes? I think I know where we are. About here. Not far from Malta. That's good and bad. Why? Our fleet's secret base is in Malta. All the Corsairs from far and wide. That's good, I assume. Or isn't it? Yes. But the bad thing is that my father had a bit of a falling out with our leader just before we set sail. What did he do wrong? Steal his ship? And refused to follow his orders. My father set off on a foray against explicit orders. He couldn't have made a bigger mistake. Oh. But anyway... We can consider ourselves lucky if we even make it to Malta. It's our only chance. We have to go there. Then I'll continue to take care of the ship. The handcart is completely wrecked. The wheel hubs could still be usable, but they're stuck in the rest of what's left. I can detach the wheel hubs like this. I'll stick the oars in the wheel hubs. No one can get through here.
In there is that sticky stuff that Jamila talked about. A bucket full should be enough for me. Hopefully this stuff isn't poisonous. Jamila? Yes? What was it with that leak again? Open bad, closed good. Are you still not finished? You could always stick your head in it. Then I'll continue to take care of the ship. Four cords per hub. Hopefully this will work in practice the same way as I can imagine it in theory. The leak is underwater, but I could seal and secure the wooden grating. What could I use to seal it? Nails and planks to secure the grating, hemp fibers for the gaps, and to seal it, tar. The holes are much too big for so few fibers. I need to stuff some flax fibers in the holes first. I haven't got anything to nail on.
A barrel without hoops becomes a plank donor. The planks are now secure, but not watertight. I can plug the gaps like this. This stuff sticks like tar, and hopefully seals just as well. The grating is watertight, but it surely won't withstand the pressure for long like that. There, that should stop the ship sinking for a couple of days. Jamila? Yes? I've done it! The leak is repaired! Great. So now you've got time for the other problems. How am I supposed to repair the mast and the sail? That's impossible! You've already built a thing that can fly. So think of something! Then I'll continue to take care of the ship.